Hello grade 9 science class, welcome back to another lecture. We have a new unit today titled polynomials and we're going to classify them for the first lesson. Uh, let's just hop right in. There are a lot of it is given to you and I'm just going to talk about it, but if I write a few things down I would encourage you to do that as well. Um, so polynomials are terms and they don't have equal signs. That's a key. Uh, if it has an equal sign, it's an equation. Um, if it does not have an equal sign, uh, depending on the number of terms that it has, we can classify it as a type of polynomial. So just one term, as you can see by 3x squared given, that's a monomial. And if it's separated by a positive or a negative sign, if you're adding or subtracting anything, um, then they are going to uh, go up from there. So two parts is a binomial and a three is a trinomial. Any uh, higher than that, we just talk about them as polynomials with four terms or polynomials with five terms, uh, depending on how many terms there are. Um, each term is going to have a variable that has a different uh, degree to it. So when we're talking about uh, polynomials, um, the exponents that make up those polynomials, um, those refer to the degree of the polynomial. So the degree is is uh, the largest uh, exponent of, of any variable in there. So here we have no uh, variable, it's just minus 24, so that's a zero degree, or we call that a constant. Uh, when we have an x that is uh, a single degree, that's first degree, and we call that linear. Um, we will learn more as you go through math uh, into grade 10, 11, and 12. You're gonna learn more about what linear, quadratic, and cubic equations are, but just know that if it's uh, a single variable with one single exponent, it's first degree uh, and it's linear. If it's got an exponent that's to the power of two, as this one does, uh, it is to the second degree uh, and is quadratic. And if it's got to the three, it's third degree, it's cubic. And after that, we just say, to the fourth degree, to the fifth degree, depending on the highest exponent. Um, I think the easiest way is often to just practice. So let's just get going here. Uh, we're gonna complete the table. Um, writing it in standard form just means writing it from um, left to right at the highest exponent first. So the first one is done, so let's just do number two. I'll hop right in just underneath for now. Uh, 5 minus 6x cubed, to write that in standard form, that would be 6 minus 6x cubed plus 5. So from left to right, the highest exponent first. Uh, it is a third degree, right? The highest exponent is 3, so we call that third degree. Uh, there are two terms in this one. 1, 2, it's separated by a single positive sign, or in the first case, a negative sign. There are two parts to it. Uh, let's see. So that means we would call this a cubic binomial. Cubic binomial. Third degree is cubic. Yes, right here, third degree is cubic. And then we have two parts to it, so that's binomial. We'll put those together. Let's do the next one, we'll do it in blue. We just have minus four, so it's already in standard form. Uh, it would be, it doesn't have any variables, so that would be to the zeroth degree. And that means, and it's only one term. So it's just a, what do we call that even? Just a constant, it's just a monomial, a constant monomial. Can you see this? Yes. So it is okay to check back to see what it should be called. It's not a problem. We will get super familiar with these. Uh, all right, let's do a couple more. We have, next in standard form, we would have 5x minus 10. The highest is uh, 1, so it is first degree, which is linear. It has two terms, so it's a binomial. So this is a linear binomial. Okay. 
Our next one is a trinomial. I can see it's three terms. I put the first, the largest exponent first. 6x cubed plus 8x minus 2. It is a third degree. The highest exponent is 3. It is a trinomial. So it is a cubic trinomial. Let's go down. Let's skip number 7. It looks like I skipped number 6 already. But let's skip number 7. Let's just do uh, number 9 and number 11. Oh, I see. Okay. So let's do, we've got minus minus. Let's put it in a standard form first. So minus 8 to the power of 4m is fine. And then we've got plus 8m to the power of 3 plus 2m minus 9. Uh, so the highest exponent we have makes it a fourth degree. It has four terms. So we can classify this um, as a polynomial with four terms. Uh, to the fourth degree. So anytime it is over what the terms that we know, we just kind of say it out loud. Polynomial with four terms to the fourth degree. That's the fourth degree. We can do one more. It's already, no it is not. Minus two n to the power of six minus four n squared plus two n minus two. That's in standard form. That is a sixth degree polynomial and it has four terms. So that means it is a polynomial with four terms to the sixth degree. Go ahead and give that a shot. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thanks you very much for watching everyone and I'll see you soon.